What's going on guys? This is Martyrs Brigade 99 coming to you once again with another session of Dark Souls PvP. Alright guys, we're back at it. This is part two of the series. And basically we're just in the Coliseum talking about a myriad of things. Now in part one, we basically discussed uh, the brackets, right? And the fear that some people have of being matched up against higher levels. Now, here was another point that um, I meant to um, to bring up. And actually, one thing about kind of doing commentaries, you know, sometimes you can get to talking and you just start ranting about subjects and kind of forget your focus, right? Because, you know, I'm not using cue cards or anything. I'm just kind of sitting here kind of freestyling. Um, so, another point that I wanted to bring up to the extent that you guys are familiar uh, and who have played on the consoles is that invasions as a dark ray do not have an upward cap right I've heard two different standards with regard to uh, invasion windows the first standard that I've heard is plus or minus 10 well actually is minus 10% like, in other words, you will go no lower than 10% of your level. In other words, if you're level 100, you will go no long, no lower than level 90. Right? That's one thing that I've heard. With no upper limit. The second thing that I've heard is that it's 10% of your level plus 10 levels. Right? So, using the same soul level 100, that would make your lower limit level 80 with no upper limit so either way it go right you won't be a level 100 beating up on level ones okay now so let's kind of go to back to what I was talking about for the guys who have the fear about being matched up against higher levels to the extent that you guys did a lot of invasions and not doing this whole formal you know undead burg or red summon sign type deal guess what guys the potential was there for you to be matched up against higher levels anyway. Right? I don't know how many times I've won 100,000 or 150,000. In some cases, 800,000 souls just by defeat an invader. Right? Which is an indicator of someone uh, that you've invaded at a higher level. Right? It happens all the time. The only difference is, in your mind, it doesn't make a difference because there's no formal brackets that you're conscious of. But it was the same thing on the consoles. So there's really no fear that anyone should have, in my personal opinion, of being faced against higher levels because the potential was already there to the extent that you fought as a dark wraith anyway. Right, so I think that was all the points that I wanted to bring up. Now, let's go into cheaters right now shout out to this guy um, I fought him like three or four times I think I only beat him once now I have reason to believe now I'm in the 100 bracket I'm in the 51 through 100 bracket you guys are going to see my stats a little later actually here's my stats right here speak of the devil 45 vitality now I actually there was a point in time where I mean I broke that guy off for of like two BS's and multiple hits and he still didn't die now I have reason to believe this person is not even though he may be in the 100 bracket I have reason to believe that he has a lot more uh, that, that his stats are at a higher level than 100 case in point um, I think it's the next fight. I'm going to count out how much vitality the guy has. He is not used... Well, actually, we'll just go through it. So you guys go ahead and pull out your little high-speed calculators, right? Here we go. 630 with the BS. Right? 229. I'm going to hit him again. 220. Well, 229 right there. 229 again. And I'm going to pop him off with a BS of 598. Mm. 
All right, so that was 598. Now, that guy has an awful lot of vitality, right? As a matter of fact, he has somewhere around 1915 or 1916. So let's just kind of go into some other observations that we can make. This guy's using a Balder Swag Sword. He's also fast rolling with the dark armor. Well, guess what? I went on Fusion Monkey because I was just so confused. I said, okay, this guy is at least, his attributes would at least bring him somewhere around 125 range. And here's why I'll say that. To have around 1,900 vitality, he's going to need around 61, uh, uh, 61 in vitality to give him around 1,900. Right. He's using Great Heal and Wrath of the Gods. So in other words, that will give him two attunement slots, at least. So I'm just going to stop at two. All right, so I think that is about, what, 14 in attunement? 12 in attunement? Gives you two slots. All right, now, the very minimum endurance he would need to fast roll in all dark armor with the Havel's Ring and the Ring of Favor Protection would be 31. Right, 14 is the minimum strength for the Baldur Swag Sword, and I'm assuming he has 40 in dexterity, right? Because, I mean, who wouldn't go 40 in dexterity? Also, he has at least 28 in faith, right? Because he's casting Wrath of the Gods. Now, all those stats 61 vitality, 12 attunement, 31 endurance, 14 strength, 40 dexterity. 28 faith is a soul level 123 is abandoned 123 right so my thing is I have reason to believe now I'm not going to accuse this guy because I don't know for a fact but dude if you see yourself on this video and you can explain because actually I just counted out all the vitality Please explain to me what your build is because I just added up all the numbers and it just do not add up to soul level 100. All right, so this is one case of what I would call people being motivated to use hacks, right, so that they can be successful in the brackets. Now, that is a downside to hacking. You know, I, I think the thing is called the trainer, right? This is a this is the downside to using the trainer. But in my personal opinion, there is also an upside, right? Now, some of you guys may say, "Dude, how in the world can you endorse cheating?" Well, this is how I can endorse hacking. Number one, there were um, what some would consider to be hacks on the PS3. Um, or cheat or glitch, whatever term you want to use it. And that was the bottomless box glitch. You know, people consider that to be a glitch. And the dragon head glitch. Now, the bottomless box glitch was harmless, in my personal opinion. Because being able to dupe your items onto a different character caused no harm to anyone. Now, the dragon head, on the other hand, had a positive side and a negative side. On one hand, because I use the dragon head, and I still do to the extent that I want to create a new build. Number one, it allowed you to create uh, builds extremely fast without having to go through the game. Now, I've had Dark Souls since it was released, November 2011. That's almost a year. After playing this game as long as I have, I will not be, you know, spending four hours just to create a build. I focus more so on PvP. I absolutely hate PvE because, you know, I've played PvE so many times that who cares about PvE? I do not want to go through the whole game just to create a build. I mean, that's the bottom line, and I refuse to do it. Right? So I did use the Dragon Head for fast leveling to create new builds, in addition to the Bottomless Box to create new builds. So that was a positive thing. 
with regard to the negative side of it, there are some guys who use the dragon head glitch in awful ways, ways that I would consider to be awful. You know, they will kind of spew these infinite poison darts at you, or you know, they'll have this kind of hot dragon breath and drag you off cliffs, or you know, have you fall off places and stuff like that. Right? That's the negative side to it. The point that I'm getting at is, I do not necessarily think that the trainer is bad. Now, for all you honor police out there, you're probably gonna hate what I have to say. But here's why. Once again, I've been playing this game for nearly a year. Right? I make a lot of PvP builds because I focus on PvP. So, to the extent that I am making PvP builds, and I need to make them fast, I don't see anything wrong with using, uh, let's just say, infinite souls. Right, because infinite souls will allow you to go from level 4 to 125 or 100 or whatever soul level you choose to stop at. Nor do I see a problem with using infinite materials, right? Because having infinite tight, you know, uh, titanites, I mean, or titanite, you know, chunks or titanite slabs is not causing any harm to anyone. Uh, I'm inclined to believe that you can have all the weapons that the game has to offer. If you suck at PvP, you suck at PvP. Right? So having a whole bunch of plus 15 weapons is not hurting anyone. Right? It's just causing you... I mean, it's just allowing you to have the build that you want. And number one, you have to go out and get the slabs to be able to copy them. Right? If I, I mean, if, if, if I'm understanding this thing correctly. Um, I've also heard that they have an option to do like some kind of one hit kill Right now do I see anything wrong with uh, one hit kills? To the extent that you're in PvP I do infinite vitality infinite endurance all these other things to the extent that you're playing online in PvP It is 100% a problem in my personal opinion now if you're playing offline and you need to zip through the game because let's just say you're creating a mage, right? And you just need to zip through the game so you can go buy all the uh, sorceries you want to prepare for PvP. I don't think there's a problem with that. Especially when you've been playing a game as long as I do. I mean, as long as I have. No, not at all. So, for some of you guys who, you know, absolutely hate what I'm saying. Look, it is what it is, guys. Perhaps you guys haven't played as long as I have. Perhaps you guys do not engage in PvP as often as I do. But I am not into creating builds by investing four or five hours into a game that I have finished probably over 50 times. Right? And that might be an understatement. I put in my work with regard to PvE and Dark Souls, and I do not enjoy it. I am into PvP. I've always, well, actually I can't say I've always been into it, but I've for a long time been in, into PvP, and that's what I focus on. So, do I, in all cases, think something is wrong uh, with, you know, what some people would say the heck? In all cases, no. And I've said this um, in several videos of you know that I've uploaded in the past things are conditional right I don't think things are absolute I don't think you know you should take the absolute position of well it's a hack and therefore it's wrong I don't think that right because I think it can be wrong in some cases but you know not wrong in other cases you know uh, examples like the ones that I've used I create a lot of bills well I use infinite souls to the extent that I get an opportunity I sure will <laughs> right I create bills all the time would I use uh, infinite um, items, right, so as to be able to upgrade my weapons? I sure will. I PvP all the time. Now, will I use anything like that uh, online in PvP against people? I never will because that's cheap. It's 100% cheap. I don't need to use infinite health, you know, no bleed, no poison, no weapon break. I don't need to use any of that. And the people who do use that 
during the online component, in my personal opinion, are 100% cheap players. I will say it all the time. You guys are cheap if you're using infinite everything just to engage in PvP. Now, offline, who cares? Right? You're not competing against anything other than the engine. Who cares? But in this case, you know, this guy that I'm playing right here, I think to the extent that I am correct, right, because I added all this crap up because he kind of ticked me off. Uh, uh, when I noticed, I said, holy crap, I gave all that damage and that guy still's not dead? You know, so I had to put the Mugen Monkey together myself. And actually, I'll even try to put a link in the description box so you guys can check it out. Or, you know, you guys can do it yourself, you know. Just look at what you need to fast roll in the dark armor, right? With the shield that he's using, um, you're going to need a Havel's Ring in addition to Ring of Favor Protection, right? 14 Strength, 40 Dexterity for the Balder Swag Sword, 28 Dexter uh, 28 in Faith for the Wrath of the Gods, 2 Attunement Slots, uh, which is 12 in Attunement. And for 19 Vitality, he's got a like, he's got above 50, right? But the way I put it is somewhere around 61 which would put him above the soul level 100 range although he's fighting in my bracket and you guys have seen my stats so you see that I'm in the 100 bracket um, so in cases like this I think it's an awful thing right and like I said before I'm not going to accuse him but I have reason to believe that that guy was using a hack to give himself an advantage at the bracket that I was fighting in so I have mixed opinions about the hack right in some cases it's good, in other cases it's bad. Um, to the extent that they're guys like me, the PvP all the time, create a lot of builds, you know, I don't see anything wrong with it. If, it, if you're only using it to create a lot of builds, I see nothing wrong with it. Now, if you're using it to give yourself an advantage in the online mode during PvP, you're cheap, right? And we need to get rid of people like you. I have fought several guys like that with infinite health. You know, they swing like 20 times straight. So obviously they're using, you know, infinite endurance and uh, stamina. Or, you know, some of these guys, they'll cast like 50 casts of, I don't know, um, what's that great chaos fireball? Which obviously you can only get four. But because they're using that infinite castings, you know, they're just popping you off with it all the time those guys need to be banned and their account shut down bottom line offline component who cares online you guys suck right and you need to get a grip and just improve in your pvp so you don't have to worry about having to cheat to be competitive so that's it i think we covered a myriad of subjects right we've talked about cheating so-called cheating hacking whatever you want to call it glitches whatever uh, we've discussed brackets, right? For which, once again, you know, I really don't think that these guys need to fear the 125, you know, the 120 or 125 standard that we have maintained for years during Demon Souls and Dark Souls. And I don't think that just because the Prepare to Die edition is released, that should motivate people to stop at 100. Because remember, guys. To the extent that this game grows old, people are going to PvP in locations other than the Colosseum, right? So you don't have to, you know, just stop your build at 100 and you say, well, this is my Colosseum build. Guys are going to return to the Undead Bird. They're going to return to the Forest. They're going to return in all the other locations that should not restrict you to level 100. Alright guys, that's enough of my rant in this two-part video. I, go, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentaries and the footage. Martyr's Brigade.